catfish flops around on the on the, the collector. Head. Yeah, it's 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 okay. You know, I'm not going to freak out. This is a very exciting day for the Rackleys. Dad has been looking for a boat for what two years? Yeah, two years. He has been on Facebook Marketplace, Boat Trader, you name it, and and finally, he found a boat that. It didn't sell before he got there. It was everything that he was looking for. And I'm excited about this boat too, guys. I mean, this is a fishing vessel. And it is different than the other boats that I have. And, it, and now we have like the trifecta. That's right. We have the trifecta of boats to really tackle just about everything except tunas. So we're gonna put it in the water for the first time. We gotta christen it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for this? Get out in the sunlight so you can see this puppy. Wah, bam. There she blows. There she is. Do you have a name in mind yet? Are we gonna, is it gonna evolve a name? You know, you, you guys help me with that. Okay. okay, the comments down below, maybe something will happen today that will inspire this is an Express. What year is this, Dad? It's a 2012. It's a 2012 uh, Bay Boat style center center console with a galvanized trailer, aluminum with a 115 Yamaha four-stroke on it. So this thing, don't know how it, how much power, how much pop it's going to have, but man. It's ready to get some fish goo on the deck, man. You can just spray it out. Oh, yeah. Just take the hose, wash it down. Oh, yeah. Let her go. Take that toter off. Right. Want to make sure plug is in. Yeah, I got the plug in. I put it in. Plug in. You got oh, ratchets. Ratchet strips. Take those off. Back me in, please. I will back you in, sir. This is like the this first for me. Huge right? moment. Huge yeah. moment. Let's see if I can get in it. Uh, oh yeah. He's got it. Yeah. He's got it. Good to go. How we doing? Well, let's see here. Quiet. Oh yeah. <laughs> we be floating. Yeah. How's it feel, Dad? Hey, she started up. I feel good about it. She feels good in the water so far. It's a big boat. I can't wait to uh, you know get her up on plane, see how she does. Yes, sir. You know, she's probably gonna drive like a tank compared to you know your hundred thousand dollar bass boats. <laughs> but you know, I'm on the water. It's big enough for some friends. and It know, is. I can put a couple of coolers in here filled with uh, lollipops. Lollipops and fish at the end of the day. It's already got rod holders rigged, ready to go catfishing, striper, white bass, largemouth. It's got an iPilot, 24 volt. Heck yeah. yeah. And it's, it's definitely not unstable, you know what I mean? I mean, for an aluminum boat, this thing is, is solid. The Express, they're, they're good boats, for sure. This is, uh, this is the boat I wanted, you know. It, it's, it's heavier aluminum. Uh, you know, the center console was important to me. I like, I like sitting up so I can see stuff in the water. You're the captain, man. You got the captain's chair. That's right. And I got... I, I can sit oh, up there. You yeah. go. I can sit up here and relax. Just go for hours. Out of the hole. Here we go.
First run. I hate it. Impressions? I, I like it. You know, in real rough water, she's going to be, you know, pretty tough, but. I rode pretty good. 40, 40 miles an hour, and this is not calm. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty, we got some chop. Pretty ripply out here. Very yeah. stable. Very stable. Man, so. you, know, you know what? We don't have any tackle in here, do we? I know. It's <laughs> we got one lure. <laughs> we got one. one. I just put that up here to see how it would look. Uh, uh, just for uh, yeah. aesthetics? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow morning we'll have to take it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give her a dangle tomorrow morning. But, man. I'm impressed. I'm so pumped for my dad. I know he's he's feeling he's feeling the electricity of freedom on the water. He's had ki he's been fishing out of a kayak for years, but something about having a boat with all your stuff, just loading everything in there, all the accoutrement. It's good. We got to figure out the little quirks, but it's good times. We'll take it dangling tomorrow morning. Loading. off to the left a little bit or off to the right just bag it up a hair all right come on up straighten it up come on up there you go we're in Just one big problem with this boat and it has not caught a fish yet we got to fix that today got a little crappie pole got a white bass pole got some various bass rods we're here to party whatever is going to present itself see those docking skills I'm working on them nice to have athletic people that can just jump in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 we missed it. Oh. Oh. First spot. We're, we're doing it. We got birds diving, you know, white bass schooling up out here on a big flat. We're going to try to sneak our way into a uh, Oh, you just went over a nice brush pile. Let's mark that. Yep. New waypoint. There you go, Dad. All right, let's see if we can capture the first one. And they're right in front of us. Got one on. Got a tiny one on. This might be the. Oh no. Thank goodness. I was about to say that'd be the tiniest first fish ever. I got hit though. Dad, get, yes! Dad gets the first one. There it is. Yes. Oh, I'm on too. Spot lock. All right. You the man. There. there we go, Pop. Doubled up to start the first, you know, first ever catches. Oh, yeah. I'm hooked up again. We're doubled up, baby, on the rip. Got the skunk out, Dad. I'm hooked up again. I am crushing. Oh, doubles all day. Oh, that's a good keeper there. Oh, he gone. There's a good one. Throwing that little half ounce rip here, guys, for the schoolers. Yeah. 
get another one here. Oh yeah, here's another one. Oh, I see a shad that's just floating. Potential catfish option. There we go. Yeah, I got a tiny one too. You know how nice it is to be able to drive your boat over here? I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I do. Oh yeah, there's one. Oh, it came off. Oh my god, he wanted it again. He wanted it. Oh, he spit out a little bitty shad. A little bitty shad. Look at these tiny, he's, he's got tiny little shad in his mouth right here, y'all. Oh yeah, they're, they're busting. Look at that, guys, tiny. Well, y'all, it'll catch a fish. It will land a fish. We uh, crushed some little white bass. And now I wanna see, can we get a crappie? I'm tr right now I'm trying to find like a one little branch of a tree that I sometimes fish and I can't find it. So we're spot locked, at least we got that. Got spot locked. And uh, we're gonna try to drop down and catch a crappie or two. We gotta get him something up here. So we can go full bill dance in the chair, have his graph right here. But just imagine, just imagine if dad became in tune with live scope and yeah. then he then he's just like spider rigging crappie jigs i mean he's dropping down catfish lines in the back he, you know he's casting out for white bass it's 360 degrees of fish catching ability i know you got it in you too the hunger is so there my dad is so pumped right now I can't wait. I, I want to chase those big bass too, like you guys did in the winter time. Let's not forget that. Oh yeah. I can see my jig right now on your 2D. To hear you say old school, when, uh, when I was your age, we had flashers. That's it's basically what we're doing. We're fishing with flashers right now. So far, flashers. I think it's impossible. I don't, I don't think you can fish without live scope. This is where I am. This is how debilitated I have made myself using, uh, using live scope. This is it. I can't even find the brush pile with, with old school 2D and a waypoint. This is how bad of a fisherman live scope has made me. Don't get into it. Don't do it. It's so addictive. It'll ruin your skills. I got on top of it for like two seconds, and then I was like, where is it? I lost it, and then I'm sitting there on the troll motor trying to find it again. It's like needle in the haystack. Dang you, Garmin. Dang you, Garmin. You, you're ruining fishermen. You're ruining the old ways of navigations and, and finding fish. <sighs> We have officially unleashed the suds upon the vessel yet to be named. It will, it will get a name eventually. Congratulations, Dad. Got the skunk out of the boat catching some fish today. There's one thing that I uh, need you guys' help on that we can't, we don't know where it is. So the steering is really sticky on this boat. It's very sticky. I think it needs some more fluid in the hydraulics. But I can't find it. It doesn't have a sea star, so I'm guessing it's just Yamaha. It's not on the steering wheel. Where is it? The lines go under the gas tank, and then I don't know where they go. So if you know about where they might be, let us know in the comments down below. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> Dad's shaking his Guinness. Nothing's coming out. It's spray up. It's Sorry. flat and dark. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Smash that like button and throw a, a positive, great comment for the new Vessel Adventures down in the comments below. We're excited. We were talking about doing a little red fishing. I, I haven't done anything coastal in forever. Uh, so we got that option now and ah, 
I mean, the stripers I did the other day, this would be just so amazing to do out of this boat. So anyway, excited about more adventures for dad. Excited to take this up to Canada as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's just, man, possibilities wide open. So thank you guys for tuning in. And I will see you on another great adventure in the outdoors. Oh, I'll fix the seat too. Oh, look at this. That's the captain's chair.